I wake up energized and throw off the blankets. Today is our match against Onna Bugesha and I'm looking forward to it. Oh, the big match. I run through my morning routine, thinking up strategies in my head, then try to refocus as I finish my breakfast. I still have a class to attend before my match. Okay. I grab my bag and hop on my bike. There is an unexpectedly heavy amount of traffic this morning and I rush into class right on time. That was a little too close for comfort. As I settle into my seat, the professor clears his throat, beginning the lesson. Good morning, class. For today's lesson, we will discuss the differences between energy and kinetic weapons. Okay, dear Asana 201. Uh, I guess let's listen to it. Sounds interesting. Let's first review the two defensive mechanisms of a gear: the shield and hull. Aha. Oh, no, no voice. Okay, the how is the physical gear? The shield is a virtually invisible barrier generated by using the core's energy. The strength of the shield varies greatly depending on the core, shield generator, and power allocation settings. Good to know. Energy and kinetic weapons are meant to target opposite defenses. Energy-based arsenals are effective against shields as they quickly drain shield energy. But because of that, they are weak at penetrating the hull. Alternatively, kinetic weaponry is designed to puncture the armor, but they are weak against shields as the kinetic energy gets dispersed over a large surface area, the entire shield. So are there like any gears that equip both kinetic and energy weapons? <laughs> there might be. For the purpose of war games and recreational use, only energy weapons are permitted. A gear is considered destroyed when it is depowered. Of course, outside of recreational combat, this rule does not apply. Oh, so you mean they are like actual wars? <laughs> um, I hope that it doesn't come to that though. But okay, war games and recreational use only energy weapons are used. A student raises his hand. What about hybrid weapons? Yeah, hybrid weapons. And what about my core? <laughs> my gear's core, the one that can suddenly uh, go into I don't know what you call that. Yeah, power up mode on the verge of death. Ah. Yes, hybrid weapons are able to equally damage both the shield and hull. However, their damage strength is not as effective as a singular purpose weapon. Makes sense, so it's like, it's like jack of all trades, but master of none. The student nods in acknowledgement. Please turn to page 233 and let's take a look at the different types of energy weapons. I flip to the page the professor mentioned and continue listening to the lesson. That's all for today. Please make sure you have all completed your web link assignments for next class. Okie dokie. I pack my things and head to the hangar to meet up with my team. Our match is scheduled earlier than usual and we need to rethink our strategy. The plans we had discussed had all revolved around our match against Strike X. But now that they are disqualified, we have to come up with new ones against our new opponent. We don't know how they play though. Maybe Kauri will know. Since she's, she's quite close to me. I enter the hangar and look for Aura. When I arrive, everyone is already there. Show waves. Rosa? <sighs> it, it's so cringy to call me Pro Seth, but okay. <laughs> hey! Hi! Hi! Tori greets me for not. Oh, he's smiling. I nod too. Good. We're all here. Let's head to the pre combat room and start planning out strategies. Hey. Uh oh, me. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> it doesn't. She doesn't look happy. Uh, we collectively turn at the sound of May's voice. She waves and beams at us as she runs closer. What are you doing here, May? Come on now, don't be like this. Harry sounds less than amused. I wanted to wish you all good luck. I'm so excited for our match. Me too. Mayu smiles and nods. Let's give it our best. Who needs luck when you're this good? <laughs> Stay quiet. Uh. Let's just give it our best. Uh, I'm not. I'm not that rude, and I don't want to keep quiet. Good luck to you guys too. We won't hold back. May smiles. We won't either. As quickly as she arrived, she's gone in a flash. She's so nice. I'm totally feeding off of her enthusiasm. I'm getting a better vibe off of this match too than the one off of Strike X. No! 
Um, show blinks and out carries out first. No. She's just putting on an act. She was trying to psych us out. Don't fall for it. Oh come on now. The last. <laughs> come on, I have faith in her. Come on. I don't think that was her goal. You guys don't know her like I do. You can't trust her. Especially when she's acting all friendly like that. Well, I don't know. Tori's been acting strange. More so than usual when May is involved. Anyways, let's go strategize while we have some time. She doesn't wait for us to answer and begins power walking towards the pre combat rooms. Hey, wait for us! We drop to catch up and follow her. After a quick change into our pilot suits, we meet at the holo desk. Yeah, the holo desk. Kauri sets up the match. A few minutes later, the holo desk projects the arena and the gears involved in the fight. All right. So what's the deal? Onna Bugiesha is a melee-only team. It will be important to pay attention to our positioning and maintain a safe distance. Melee-only team. So, so you're saying that they lack teamwork? <laughs> We've had close combat teams in the past. Claw of the Wild comes to mind from a few weeks ago. Oh, melee as in... Okay, as in they don't use guns and all that. They just use swords and charge at us. Okay. My use is focused on the holo desk and takes a serious tone. Claw of the Wild was a melee-centric team. Their gears were needed to perform a hybrid role. Based on Ona Bogesha's data, their gears are all custom tailored for high bursts of speed and close combat engagements. Okay, so they're gonna be really very fast. We would benefit greatly from keeping a distance. If we play defensively, it will force them to chase us, and we can wear them down before going on the offense. Ah, uh, so we're gonna play the frustrating style. What do you think, Brosif? I think it's good. I love frustration. I love frustrating enemies. A great range is key. Let's go for Super Smash Bros. Really this ain't a game! <laughs> well, I mean, this is a game, a vision of it is a game, but I mean, this, this, man, this is a match, this ain't a game. <laughs> yeah, range is key. If they have no ranged weaponry, we should do as much damage from afar as we can. Uh, Weeting weakling them down before fully engaging will give us the advantage. Sounds good to me. Mayu and Kari both not. Okay, well, we can all go range, but Aura can't. The team looks at Kauri. Oh, so Aura is Kauri's gear. I was like thinking, what's, what's Aura? I'll engage Mei head on and keep her out of the fight. Oh, so it's gonna be a one on one confrontation? That kind of goes against our plan. To my surprise, Kauri greets her teeth and bites back a retort. She studies the holo desk for a little too long than size. I guess I don't have much of a choice. I'll hang back with you guys, and intercept if one of the enemy gears manages to break through. Are you not? I think that would be best. Okay, let's recap. We'll play it from a distance and keep baiting their team. Since Mayu is our best shot, we'll keep her well protected and follow her lead. Kauri looks right at me. She finally looks more focused than I've seen her all week. You and Sho can play aggressively if we take the lead. I will intercept whoever reaches Mayu. Wow, okay. Well, yeah, I, I think from what I know, Mayu is mainly a range combatant, right? Got it. Alright. We are not. The tension is palpable. Even though Kari is always serious, her tone is more aggressive than usual because of me. We have a rare opportunity to really boost our MMR, and we can't throw this chance away. Well, that's true, but please don't let the your anger get the better of you or your hatred. There's absolutely no way we can lose to Mei. Yeah, please. <laughs> that almost sounded like a trap. I nod a little uneasily and glance at Shou and Mayu whose faces mirror my thoughts. Kauri turns back to the holo desk and uploads our plans as we wait in silence. A loud beep announces the match and mutter under my breath. Saved by the beep. Shou and Mayu seem equally relieved. Just make sure you guys stay focused. Of course. <laughs> Cho forces enthusiasm into his voice, attempting to raise our morale. Hari ignores him and Sho defeats. Let's go. <laughs> oh, uh, don't be sad, Sho. 
Alright, we, we enter the, uh, the arena from one side, while Ona Bugesha enters from the other. Welcome everyone! Are you all ready for another fantastic match? Oh yeah, I do! Crowd erupts into a loud cheer. Good, because we have an amazing one lined up for you. Ona Bugesha versus 82049! 2049 11 Why why are we why do we still have this name though? Um everyone's comms are open as we await the sound of Mage team gets into position with relaxed confidence. So I guess this pink robot is me. And yeah, these are her subordinates all in blue. Okay, they look quite intimidating. As we also get into formation, the tension I felt from, from before intensifies. This no longer feels as friendly of a match as I thought it would be. As soon as the sound of blasts, Maze team dashes straight towards us. Thin shimmer surrounding their gear reveals a hefty frontal shield. Mayu raises her gun and takes aim while the three of us position to protect her. Heavy round flies into one of the gears in the distance. Although the shot connects, it disperses into a hexagon of shimmers. What? What happened? They're shields! They're tailored to deal with rail burning. Oh shit. I need the shield to be weakened so that my shot can penetrate and force an immediate to power. So I guess we need to go up front after all. Affirmative. I'll stay back and protect. You two go aggressive and focus on knocking out their shield. Okay. Let's go. Roger that! Switching to EMP rounds now! We're using guns, yes. Sho and I boost forward, spraying a haul of energy rounds. The enemy team takes evasive maneuvers. May breaks away while the other three continue racing towards Mayu. Oh, two of oh, one down. The closest enemy gear takes the brunt of the damage, and its front barrier drops. Mayu takes advantage of the vulnerability and aims a shot at a gear, instantly depowering it. Nice! One down! I have two of them approaching me. Kauri? Kauri? Hey, Kauri! Oh my god, what are you doing, Kauri? What the hell are you doing? Are you freaking serious, Kauri? Now it's gonna be all your fault. <laughs> oh my god. Aura has already left her position and sprints towards me. Come on now, what is this? Stick to the plan, Kauri! What are you doing? You have to protect Mayu! I am! I'm taking out May so she can't attack! But what about the other two? Come on now! That wasn't the plan! You two cover her! Oh, come on now. We are not in position to! <laughs> oh shit! She's already engaged! Let's go! I guess we need to do something about it. We're gonna, we're gonna score Kauri, even though she may be a tsundere, but I'm gonna score the hell out of her later. Cho and I boost back to Mayu, but it's too late. I've been devoured. Shit. Her voice is literally calm. This can't be good. The two enemy gears shift to Sho and me. Two on two, but not much distance. Play this out carefully. For once, show is serious, yeah. We don't want to lose this. Okay, we need to make the right choices here. The gears split their focus and one of them charges towards me while the other boosts towards show. I boost away and take aim. Hit! My aim is true and a blast of energy rounds collides with her gear. She stumbles back from the hit while I create more distance between us. Before she can strike again, I move away to create more distance between us, yes. I raise my guns for another shot. Uh, fire! She tries to dodge but it's too slow and my shots pellet her shield. She's pushed back from the force of the blow. But once she gets her bearings, she boosts right back towards me. As she approaches, I boost away from her and weave around the arena, forcing her to chase me. I steady my aim and target! Alright, nice. She's too slow to dodge and my shot strikes right through her shield. Her gear can't support the hit and she's depowered. I look up over at Sho just in time to see an enemy gear strike! Watch out! I boost closer and shoot again. The round connects with the gear just as the attack connects with Sho. Oh shit, is Sho dead? 
Nacho blocks just a second too late and he's depowered. But because she wasn't expecting my attack, she left herself vulnerable and is also depowered. So it's now 2 on 1. Kauri, please cooperate. Please! <laughs> May is the only remaining enemy here. One more gear and the match is ours. On it! I boost towards Kauri and May who are locked in the duel. Aura strikes with vigor but is parried. May retaliates with a wide swing, which Kauri barely manages to block. I'm here! Don't interfere! Yeah, I knew she would say that. <laughs> she wants a one-on-one -on -one duel. It's between me and her. Come on now, what's this though? This is supposed to be a team match! Not your selfish... You can let your selfishness take over this match? Huh? What? What do you mean don't interfere? Let me handle this! Okay, if you lose, all the blame's on you. Howdy! This isn't a simulation, it's a real match! Yeah, right, well... She wants to take full responsibility for it. Well, if you lose, then don't blame me. Yeah, what you saying? May is going down in a one-on-one. -on -one. She won't have any excuses this way. This is a team match. You can't put a win in jeopardy because you want to make this personal. Yeah, precisely. But well, if you say so, what should I do? Uh, well, you know. I know this is gonna be a tough choice, thank goodness there's no time limit. But oh my god, okay, this is gonna be the hardest choice I'm gonna make because which choice I choose here will depend will determine whether I will have I will favor Kauri or not. Or not like I'm I'm going down Kauri's route in in my first route, but still I want to have the most favorable outcome. So uh but the thing is if I don't interfere and Kauri loses, it means I'm going to be the only one to take on me. Means er everything is on me. But if I engage me, well, we might win. But Kauri might not be happy. But I'm just thinking that maybe I shouldn't dis I shouldn't interfere though, because I guess Kauri needs this. She needs this to settle her affairs with me. So I guess I need to give her some room. Well, I'm not gonna interfere then. Let's see what happens. I cut eager engines. What are you doing? Well, uh, they need their first private moment, so they need to settle their field. So. A notices my engine is off and she lunges towards Eager! Oh shit! Defend! Eager bursts into action! What are you doing? I'm not just going to sit here and let her take me out! Yeah, precisely! Parry! Anticipating a swing, I sidestep until my trusters... Uh, sorry, I sidestep using my trusters and counterattack with my own blade. Well, now that she's on to me... <laughs> I have to defend, I cannot like, you know, <laughs> uh, just stand there like a sitting duck. With no shield activated on her back arc, my swing completely depowers her gear. Oh, I'm sorry Kauri, I mean, I actually wanted you to fight her but, <laughs> uh, well... Nice one. Cho's the only one to speak. Nice. I'm sorry Kauri. Mayu and Kari are both silent. Aura shifts her blade and exits the arena. Should I have just let uh, May hit me? Well, I didn't want to die though. I just want to sit back and not do anything but well, I have no choice so... The crowd roars to life, but their excitement doesn't penetrate the friction clouding our team. I hate to rush our competing teams, but we have another match in just a few minutes. Please clear the arena. May's team heads back to their pre-combat room as we head to ours. Well, but I mean there was a CG uh, showing the two of them fighting. They had their 1v1 one, one match. Actually, my intention is I want them to fight to the end, so I... I want to let myself die, but 
Let's see what happens here. Let me just continue. If it turns out to be not so good, I'm going to, I'm going to rewind <laughs> because my original intention is really to, you know, um, let them fight one on one. Yeah, because I think they really need it. Yeah, but now that I've interfered, <laughs> well, let's see what happens. When we enter the pre-combat room, Kauri is nowhere to be found. She must already be changing. Cho and I go to change, but Mayu stays back. She must be really upset if she's actively avoiding Kauri. Well, no, I'm not liking the vibe right now. Yeah, what do we do? <laughs> not that I'm blaming you or anything. I mean, you did hang back, but May charged at you. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I exhale. It's in the past now. Yeah. Cho and I finish changing and head back to the pre-combat room. As soon as we enter, Kauri storms up to me. Mayu is nowhere to be found. Where is she though? Why did you do that? I was defending myself. Do what? You engaged me. Um. Was there any rule saying that I shouldn't? You only said not to interfere, but I didn't interfere, I was just defending myself. No, you can't blame me there. <laughs> no, me engaged me. Yes, and you fought back. Am I not supposed to? You only said not to interfere. Please. <laughs> you expected me to just sit there and give her a free kill? She opens her mouth to retort but pauses. You don't understand. What don't I understand? How could he? You aren't making any sense at all. Precisely. Kauri tenses and glares at Sho. I don't have to explain myself to you. No, Kauri. Uh oh, Mayu's really angry now. He's really angry now. <laughs> we turn around to see Mayu. Her joy is sad and her eyes are hard. I've never seen her this upset before. It's chilling. I don't think chilling is the right word here, uh, but. It's chili, chili. <laughs> Ch yeah, so. Kauri's eyes widen. Or rather, Kauri's eyes widen. Mayu? You put your personal agenda above the team and risk the match. Yeah, that's true though. So, I guess I did the right choice by defending myself. Because I seriously do not want to be a sitting duck. <laughs> I mean, for all we know, if she put her personal agenda, then what if she lost? Then, then you know. Yeah. Our positioning was compromised, and I had no support. Those two were out of position because of an aggressive call that you made. That ended up costing us two depowered gears, one of which was avoidable. So no, you do owe us an explanation. Yeah. Her voice is calm but severe. Mayu's eyes is a lot more unnerving than any of Kauri's fury outbursts. Yeah, now that you mention it, yeah. Kauri is like the fire. Mayu is like the ice. <laughs> Both of us equally scary, you know. Uh, Kauri is always bursting with fire. Mayu, when, well, she's usually nice and shy, but when she puts on her front as, a, as an ice queen, yeah, it's a different thing. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> Uh, this is getting out of control. Back up, Mayu. We are waiting for an answer, Kauri, or silent. Well, yeah, I'm definitely not going to say back up, Mayu, because Mayu definitely has a point. And this is getting out of control. Not really, because Mayu has the right to be angry. Uh, well, we are waiting for an answer, Kauri. I don't really want an answer. Uh, I, I can choose not to say anything, but I uh, think... Uh, or actually, maybe I should just keep quiet, you know, let them say, let Kauri say it, say it, because, no, no, I think I'm gonna demand an answer from Kauri, like, seriously, we really need it. Mayu has a point. Show nods and we all look at Kauri. Kauri looks between the three of us and sighs. I get it. I made a mistake. But I can't be expected to always make the perfect calls. Yeah, yeah, we get that, but, like... Explain. We don't expect that from you either, but when you start throwing the blame around... I'm sorry, okay? That didn't sound very sincere. It would help if you meant it. 
Kaori clenches her hands into fears. I said I'm sorry! I messed up! It was my fault! Blame me! What else do you want? Like, explain why you did that? Let's drop it. She already said sorry. Sho crosses his arms, but not. At least Maya seems to have returned to her normal demeanor. Okay. We usually celebrate as a team after a win, but I get the feeling that won't happen this time. After picking up our stuff, we exit the pre-combat room. Well... May is waiting for us outside, leaning against the door. Hey guys! Congratulations on the win! I glance at May, barely registering her presence. I'm too wrapped up with what happened in the pre-combat room. May smile falters when no one answers. Wow, with gloomy faces like that, I think you were the ones that lost. Yeah. <laughs> Up, May. May flinches from the ferocity of Kauri's voice. Uh, I was just kidding, Kauri. This is all your fault. <laughs> Why is it her fault now? May is stunned into silence. You seriously need to calm down. May didn't do anything. You're being too harsh, Kauri. Yeah, like seriously though. Kauri's eyes flash. You guys are taking her side. I thought you were my teammate! Is this the reason why, like, I mean, these three, they were previously from the Strike S, right? So I guess they split because of, maybe because of Kaori's temper and all that? Maybe? Or, or maybe, maybe that could be part of it, but, you know. You aren't taking anyone's side, but since the match, you've been acting like a complete... Yeah, don't, don't say the, you know. Cho catches himself in false silence. How he looks at him. A complete what? Yeah, you wanna say dumb something? Nothing. She pauses. When she finally speaks, her voice cracks. I see. That's how you really feel. Come on now, please, please don't do this. Cho's look softens. No, I didn't mean that. Kauri turns to face me. You. She lowers her head. You always turn my friends against me. What? <laughs> she spins on her heel and walks away. When she thinks she's out of eyesight, she starts running. Kauri! Kauri disappears. Cho is about to rush after her when May blocks his path. I have to go apologize. I didn't mean what I said. May sighs. <sighs> Her space right now, or you'll just make it worse. But like, seriously, uh, I mean, <laughs> like, that's seriously something about Kaori. Something must have happened in Kaori's past to actually for her to react this way. Actually, we, we don't quite know the full story between Kaori and May, right? Yeah, something I guess why Kaori left Strike S is also because of me. And then now it's starting, the same thing is, is happening again. I think that's probably it, but it's really not May's fault, like, like seriously. Sho looks torn but doesn't try to follow Kari. I don't think I've ever seen her too upset to yell. Mayu looks down worriedly at her feet. I was too mean to her earlier. I'm sorry. Well, I should say sorry too, you know. <laughs> but... <laughs> Time to cool off. You sound like you speak from experience. May sighs and nods. Yeah, she knows. What's up with her saying you always turn my friends against me? It's a long story. Something that happened back in middle school. Something to do with Ryota? Oh, Ryota is the from the Strike Ash, right? You two go way back. Yeah, we do. May's pocket by plates. She pulls out her phone and reveals the message. My team is wondering where I am. Don't worry too much about Kaori. She'll be okay. I'll talk to her when she's calmed down. Are you sure you're the right person to talk to her though? <laughs> I don't know about that really. We need to go as a team though, I feel. Like together we talk to her. Can't just let her talk to her. I don't think she's the right person to talk to her either. 
be not and watch me head out. I don't feel any less guilty. I shouldn't have acted that way earlier. No, it was my stupid comments. I never should have said something like that. I mean, it's just a spur of the moment. Yeah, sometimes we do do things without thinking. You know, I'm definitely not excluded. I guess they still, they still feel guilty too. Let's give Kari her space like we suggested. I'll go check up on her. Well, I know we said we should give Kari some space, right? But, but, <laughs> I'm worried. Um, I really want to check up on her, like, you know, I, maybe at this point, I might be the only one who can, you know, cheer her up even though I'm not going down her route yet. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna go check up on her. Yeah. I mean like they say she's gonna be the one to look look for her right when she's come down, but I don't think that's gonna work. I'm gonna check up on her. I'll go see if she's okay. No, let me do it. You? I don't think she'll be too happy to see you right now, sure. He's right. Yeah, I am like I'm the only one who even though I was the one who joined the two of them saying that yeah, you should give us an explanation <laughs> to Kaori, um, <laughs> you know, but maybe I should have kept quiet back there, but Joe frowns but doesn't protest. You guys can head out. I'll text you once everything is okay. Are you sure? Leave it to me. You know, <laughs> I haven't had much experience with Kaori, but leave it to me. I can handle her fiery temper. Yeah, there's no point in you guys just standing around here. Let us know if we can help. We'll do. Alright, we are going for Kauri. I wave at the pair and jog in the direction Kauri went. At the quad, the sun dips low in the sky as the evening as the evening rolls in. I search several locations for Kauri until I arrive at one of the more secluded campus quads. There's only one student sitting on the bench with a bag at her feet. Kauri's face is bent over her chest and I can hear faint sniffers. She's crying. Never seen her cry before. Yeah, it's a, seeing her cry is a bad thing. Really a bad thing. You need her to get back to her usual self. <laughs> Even if it means the Tundere uh, self. She probably wants to be alone right now. Console her. No, I'm gonna console her. I I'm not such a and a wicked man. <laughs> Let's go. I place an arm on her shoulder. Hey, are you okay? Kari glances up at me for a second, but it was long enough for me to see how her eyes glittered. She rubs her eyes. Show feels bad. We're all sorry. Are you crying? <laughs> oh my god. This one is so cruel, man. Uh, Show feels bad. Actually, I'm gonna say we're all sorry. Not just it's not just show, it's we're all sorry. Because we we definitely don't want our team to break up because of this misunderstanding. We're all sorry. We're sorry, Kari. Kari shakes her head. You guys don't have anything to be sorry for. It was my fault. Your fault? Why? I mean, it was your fault that we you almost caused us the match, but still. Uh, it's not nothing to be to resent to be resented for, you know. Still, we are your teammates. We should be helping each other, not fighting. You guys were right. This was personal. Okay, she's starting to calm down now. What? I've been busy with other stuff. I guess the stress got to me. Busy with other stuff. Other stuff. How he shakes her head. Don't worry about it. It's nothing major. I just have to handle myself better. Okay. I sit down beside her and enjoy the silence. The only sounds are of the soft whistles of the beasts and the chirp of wildlife. I let the tranquility wash over me. Even Kauri seems to be calmer. She looks up at the evening sky. Ask about me. That's where we go. There's a time limit. Well, there's only one option. Of course I'm going to choose that. I've been wondering, what's your history in May? How he looks at me. What do you mean? Well, well, it's clear that you two have gone a long way, come a long way. 
she acts like your best friend, but you not so much. How he sighs. We were best friends, but that was before she broke my trust. But I mean, it's just did she like apologize to you? That's the most important thing. I mean you can't you know, you need to forgive her, you know. You can't just like be like, you know be like oh you're not friends with her anymore because she, just because she broke your trust one time was she genuinely i mean did she really like apologize to you i mean you can at least give her another chance if possible you know you know our friendship can't go back to what it used to be no matter how badly she wants it why is it really that bad what did she do that was so unforgivable how he looks away you ashamed or embarrassed to tell me? Could it really have been that bad? Yes. Really? Try me. <laughs> Although she answers quickly, she seems a little less certain than before. I mean, is it really that bad? <laughs> yeah, all right, that's your call. But it's obvious that May still cares a lot about you. How he doesn't answer. It's getting pretty late. Well, think about it. Okay. You're going to head out. She stands up and picks up her bag. Yeah. Unexpectedly, she smiles. Thanks. <laughs> Anytime, Kari. I mean, I'm not going down your road yet, like I said, but now, well, if you need me as your something to lean, you need, if you need a shoulder, I'm here for you. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I smile back. No problem. Want me to walk you back to your dorm? I'm okay. Okay. Alright. Have a good evening. You too. After she disappears around the corner, I head back to my bike. The entire ride home, I run through the events leading up to Kari's departure and our conversation afterwards. I'm just glad everything worked out okay. Well, so I guess it's not that bad. I mean, I was, I almost want, I'm te tempted to like want to go back and like let myself get destroyed, but yeah, we shouldn't do that. <laughs> Yeah, thinking back, yeah, don't. <laughs> the house is quiet when I arrive home. I'm a little relieved as I'm exhausted, so I head straight to bed and fall fast asleep. Okay, hope everything's well tomorrow. I hope you no know, Kauri's issues with May gets resolved somehow. I turn off my alarm and stretch, and then let out a groan. Yesterday was a really intense day, and I'm certainly feeling it now. At least it's Friday. With a regretful sigh, I roll out of bed and prepare for my classes. I grab a quick breakfast and drive to school. Yuna is waiting for me in class and smiles broadly when I sit down next to her. Oh yeah, it's the Friday class. Hi Yuna. Hey! Sorry we haven't had a chance to catch up. How did your meeting go with Yuri? Oh yeah, speaking of that, we still have another thing to resolve. Asking her about her brother. Oh no. <laughs> oh man. It's one one sad event after another. Yeah, depressing event. It wasn't as bad as I anticipated, even though he asked a lot of questions. We better not break it to her now. Break it when it's appropriate. Not now. About Eagle? Um yeah. <laughs> no, he was interested in my team back at CIN my way. That's right. Not eager. She blinks in genuine surprise. Oh, was under the impression he was curious about Eagle. It's okay, I didn't mind. Clearly he did his homework about how teams are run in the States because he didn't seem surprised by anything I shared. Yuna nods. There's a reason why he's the youngest account manager to manage a team at Dashu. There's a reason why he's the youngest? Have you talked with him yet? Yes. Okay. He said that you show a lot of promise. And he's confident that if the rest of your teammates are as determined as you are, then you'll definitely be a force to be reckoned with. Oh, nice words. Please thank him on my behalf, Yuna. That's it? She furrows her brow in concern. Yeah. Should he have said anything else? Uh, <laughs> I guess he was serious when I said I should talk to her about her brother. Yeah. Actually, maybe now isn't the right time to bring up this conversation. Definitely not. We don't want to bring this to her during class and then see her all depressed. <laughs> uh, let's talk about it later. Yeah, we, mu we must find the right time to do it. Not now. This is this isn't. We need to 
do it at the right time. Yeah. Bombarding her right now, right before class begins. Doesn't seem like very smart timing, yeah. The professor will get here at the start class before we really have a ch chance to talk. And Yuna will probably spend all of class stressing out about this. Uh just checking, yeah, how he's clearly into me. No. What? Wait. Uh spend all of class stressing out. Just checking. Uh yeah, how's how he's clearly into me? Who's into oh yeah. No, uh, do I choose this? We had a good conversation, so I was wondering. I was just wondering if she he had any other thoughts. Oh no, but I'm glad to hear you enjoyed the conversation too. Yeah, just checking. He seems like he'll be easy to work with. You not not. He is. I glance at her and nod. Right. The professor enters the room and gets settled. Good morning, everyone. Please open your textbooks to page 81. Dear History 201. Right. When will be the appropriate time to talk? Maybe after. Diamonds are on the web link. Have a great day. Maybe after this class? You and I pack up our things and walk out of class together. Right. I guess this is the right time at the quad. Do you have another class to go to? No, but I have to meet my physiotherapy professor. I'm a TA for his class. Uh, then do you have any free time later on? I didn't know you were a TA. Yep, I don't usually help out in his Friday classes, but he's holding exams today, so I need to be there. Okay. Do you have any other classes? No, but I'm kind of hungry. I'll grab lunch in the pilot's lounge. A face lights up. Oh, you're lucky. They're supposed to have really good food. Well, only burgers and fries. Unhealthy food. <laughs> yeah, I remember curry scene. I, I I really like to eat curry's food again. <laughs> yeah, the, the bento that curry prepares. I agree. They do. And they even have burgers. Yuna's eyes grow wide. Are they better than the ones we had? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, no. Nothing is better than what we had. Uh, a million times, yes. Uh, well... How should I answer this? <laughs> Nothing's better than what we had. Oh yeah, I think this is nice. I gaze gently into her eyes. <laughs> Nothing can compare to what we had. And she gives me a strange look. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, she doesn't get it, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, pouts. Aww, I wish I could try them. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, I'm being very bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll smuggle one out for you. Really? Yeah. I'm taken aback by her hopeful case. Um, uh, I, I guess if they have them, I will. They don't have them every day. She beeps. That would be great. <laughs> I, I guess that's not the right choice earlier, but well, I, I guess it's not too major, but yeah, I'll be careful next time. <laughs> Yuna checks the time. Oops, I'm going to be late. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye. I wave as she dashes off. Alone, I make my way to the pilot's lounge. I hope we still have another chance chance to talk to her about her brother. Yeah, because I did say I will talk to her about it later. But I hope I didn't make the right cho uh, the wrong choice to not to bring it up to her earlier. Yeah, before class. Yeah, so let's hope there will be another chance, you know, to bring it up to her. Yeah. Because we definitely need to bring it up to her. Yeah. I check out the menu on display in the lounge. That's the usual Japanese fare that I can find in the dining hall too. Today's special is Napolitan spaghetti, popularly known as ketchup spaghetti. The bartender approaches me and waits expectantly. Hmm. Well, I guess. I guess I haven't tried out the spaghetti, so let's go. Man in Rome? Or I guess in this case when in Japan. One Napolitan spaghetti, please. Bartender nods. He brings me my order and I take it to an empty table. As soon as I sit down, someone slides into the seat across from me. We need to apologize and ask if this table is taken when I take a good look at the girl smiling at me. Is it Valerie? <laughs> oh no, it's me? Okay. Is this seat taken? Uh no, you can sit here. Thanks. 
This is a little un uncomfortable after what happened yesterday. I think she feels it too. So, um, how's Kauri? I guess we need to settle this issue first before we settle the issue with Yuna. So I think I probably made the right call in not telling her, yep, yeah, asking her about her brother. Yeah. Before class. Yeah. Not yet, anyway. We'll definitely ask her, I hope. She'll be okay. She may not. I thought so. I haven't seen her that upset since. She hesitates. Since Shiota. He blinks, but seems relieved. Kauri told you about Ryota? <laughs> uh, briefly. Sort of. <laughs> I'm not about to tell her I was listening in on their conversation a few days ago, yeah. <laughs> Did she say it was all my fault? Uh, no, she didn't say it. Well, certainly implied. May size. <sighs> I wish I'd never said anything. I blink. May doesn't strike me as someone who has many regrets. She's always cheerful and seems to take whatever life throws at her in stride. I believe that you meant well. Thanks. If only Kaori could see that. I wasn't trying to ruin her friendship with Ryota, or my friendship with her. Yeah, I mean, that's the one thing with Kaori is that she's really, really very stubborn. <laughs> we need to really get true to her. They would have been so cute together. You know, if Ryota hadn't been such a jerk. How awesome would it have been if my two friends ended up together? Yeah, so it looks like May really did mean well, you know. Yeah, she doesn't have any ill intentions. Sounds like you were excited for her. I was! Even back then, Kauri was more reserved around people. She didn't like to show her feelings. So I was so excited when she told me she liked Ryota. If he was such a jerk, why were you friends with him? always like that. Honestly, I don't know why he exploded the way he did. We used to do everything together. His family even took us on their vacations. Uh -huh. I knew him back in elementary school when he still had huge glasses and would tell goofy jokes that were too smart to be funny. Kids used to pick on him a lot. So we entered middle school and he worked hard to change his image. Are you clear that he had feelings for you? lost the glasses and became more serious. The more I think about it, the more I think he stuck with us out of obligation, rather than true feeling. Oh, okay. We were his only friends for a long time, until he hit his growth spurt. Then all the girls were suddenly interested. He looks thoughtful. Actually, I think it was when the other girls started to notice him that Kaori liked him too. Really? <laughs> Do you still keep in touch with him? So he, he's become a jerk, alright? She hits the table for emphasis. I told him all that stuff in confidence, thinking maybe it would give him a push to make a move. Well, he made a move, alright. He went out of his way to hurt Kauri. What kind of friend is that? That's not a person I want to associate with. <sighs> That's true. We, we don't want to associate with a jerk, enemy, or bastard. It's just frustrating that Kaori would lump me into the same category as him. So, does she know that you hate Yota? Did you tell her that? That's the most important question. That sounds like her. That, this explains so much. Why even bother? Well, let's see. That sounds like her, I guess. <laughs> I can't see that. Me raises an eyebrow. Don't tell me you agree with her. Um, no, no, that's not what I mean. <laughs> no, no, you don't sound anything like Ryota. I mean, I mean, I can definitely see Kaori jumping to conclusions. She's just so stubborn too. She wouldn't even listen to me when I tried to explain. Oh, so you actually wanted to tell her that you hate Ryota a lot, but she just doesn't want to listen? No, 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 I don't want to listen, no! Like a bat? I mean, a uh, spoiled kid. And why do you keep trying? May looks at me as if I've uh, spotted a third arm. She's my friend. I left her alone for a while so she could cool off. And I admit, I was angry at her for a long time too. But then I saw her withdrawal completely. No one should be alone. 
sure. I know she hasn't forgiven me yet, but she will. How can you be so sure? It might take her a little longer, but in the end, Kaori always sees reason. Yeah, I can definitely see that. I we definitely saw Kaori starting to see reason. Yeah, when she was alone. Yeah, she did admit that it was her fault, you know, for putting her personal agenda, you know, in in our match. It might take Oops. her a little longer. May is completely confident that Kaori will forgive her. That must be how she can still act so familiarly, uh, so familiarly with her, even though Kaori doesn't reciprocate those feelings. I have to admit, I kind of admire May for that. Anyway, since I really didn't get the chance to say it yesterday, congrats on your win. Thanks. I blink. Oh, thanks. But don't get used to it. Ana Bugeisha has a lot of practicing to do. It won't be that easy the next time we battle. Alright. Bring it on. <laughs> Call that easy? You're still gonna lose. That This was a good fight. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna be that cocky. Uh, that was a good fight. This was a good fight, yes. The next match we have is half as good as the one we just had. I'll be satisfied. Hey, Queens. Don't worry. Us girls won't be going down easy. Alright, girl power. From the corner of my eye, I spot Kaori and Shu enter the pilot lounge. Show still alive and in one piece. They must have worked things out with each other. That's a relief. Kari searches the room and briefly makes eye contact with me before glancing away. Then, to my surprise, she walks over to us. Show follows. Oh? Me is just as surprised to make Kari and Show sit with us. What's going on, Brosif? Nothing much. Where's Mayu? Class. Oh. I look over at Kari. Okay, are they gonna reconcile here? Hey, Kari. Hi. He looks sideways at me. Hi, May. Oh, at least she acknowledges me. May doesn't react right away. Let's squeeze in the light and show some arms around Kari! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> okay. Uh, May! Stop it! <laughs> Okay, at least they're kind of reconciled. Kari pulls away in a half while May laughs. The four of us continue to chat together. The tensions felt from yesterday are completely gone. I see the day never happened. May even got Kari to laugh. Well, so I guess this issue is settled. So now it's we're gonna settle the issue with Yuna next. Alright.